everyone. We are very pleased to have C.K. Shum, Professor C.K. Shum with us today. Professor Shum is an earth sciences professor and distinguished scholar from Ohio State University. Thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Professor Shum, um, the topic for today is new space. Please tell us how do you see new space and how does it relate to your work? First of all, thank you very much, Kara. I, I want to say that I actually grew up in Hong Kong and went to the U.S. for my education and stay and, uh, as an educator. So I'm very pleased to be here. And actually, my, my expertise, I wanted to say a little bit about it, is, is called geodesy, which is a very old science. It's measuring the size and the shape of the Earth or the planets and then have capability to know where you are, meaning navigation, meaning when you go to Starbucks, you know where to go. And new space, to me, it's an excellent topic. So the question is that the scientific research, the technology develop, is there any anything else could be evolved into more applications, for example, to address uh, our immediate problem, which in my opinion is climate change, how do we do something about it, uh, what we call climate actions. So that, that's what I wanted to be here and talk, talk about in this conference. Thank you. Um, it's lovely to have you with us today. Um, I just want to add that uh, Professor Shum has re received numerous awards for his work, including the 2012 Vanning Menesh Medal for his work on geodesy as it relates to sea level science. Um, he's also the lead author of a 2007 Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change, which won him and his team the 2007 Nobel Prize, together with, um, um, to, together with um, Al Gore. Thank you. Um, the next question is, um, how, what is your advice for students for today? How would they take advantage of, um, not necessarily new space, but what are the new areas that you see that, um, that is in the horizon that you think, how, how should they prepare themselves for the new economy? My, my advice as an educator, not necessarily uh, at the ears of the youngsters. I know I have three sons. Um, so, so please be open-minded. In other words, uh, you have to be educated, you have to learn, but however, make an open mind of uh, question, your, question your educator, not, not really uh, try to be confrontational, mm -hmm. and be curious. And uh, this, the last thing is pretty difficult to achieve. Money is not the only thing, but happiness would be. So that's my, my advice. That's what I try to tell myself. <laughs> so. If you were 18 years old today, how would you tell your younger self? Mm -hmm. So that's a very good question because I now recall that I was about 17 when I left home in Hong Kong and the United States, a totally strange place to me. Um, I think still the same advice, uh, you should learn everything you could learn and be an open-minded person. Uh, as far as new space economy, it's so much thing that people are working on the youngsters. They have smartphones, they have all access to all the information. So the, the point is that with uh, satellite technology and not necessarily that you want to be an astronaut or a tycoon. Uh, however, you could, you could study computer science, you could study physics, astronomy, you could business, investment. So that's the point of this conference and you could benefit the world and uh, we are undergoing some drastic climate change as we know the, uh, the, the typhoons are getting stronger, more unpredictable for example. So this technology could all help us hopefully and to mitigate or I should say to minimize the, the risk of climate change. Thank you very much. Thank you. Karen.